Hello. <clears throat> Got another video today. This is kind of a science project, too. So I'm going to have to update soon in about a week or so. And then progressively update. Anyway, what we have here is uh, biochar, basically burned up wood, a.k.a. agrochar or uh, terra preta. Oh, I guess terra preta when it's not dug in the ground. Anyway, and this stuff is uh, basically the cooking wood on with uh, low oxygen, but that's the byproduct. I know everybody's seen it. Basically, looks like uh, looks like a piece of charcoal, almost real easy to break with your fingers. This type of stuff here. Okay, you don't want it in ashes. Okay, basically, what we're trying to do with this is enrich our soil. Okay, and a little history lesson. Terra Preta was found in uh, ancient Amazon as the oldest uh, known civilization, I guess, now to actually use this stuff. And, this, and that's, they've actually found it, and so now people are trying to use this as uh, a way to enhance your fertilizer and, you know, it re you know, restores organic carbon to your soil, improves your pH and the structure of the soil, and holds water and nutrients real easy. So what I'm really going to try here is I crushed a bunch up, and I'm going to try a science project here. I just took some dirt, small ground dirt here that I dug from underneath this table here, and uh, basically this is our um, flood and drain system. So, you know, it's nice under here. I got some good, good soil. Oh, please don't spill that out. Need, that needs a, that's our compost tea. Anyway, so what I did, I just filled the bucket here with some of that regular old dirt. And I have this tray here. Okay, these four are filled with just our basic old ground dirt. And this, as you can see, I mixed our ground dirt with some of that, some of that biochar that I had pulverized with a, with a 2x4. Let's some more of it. I mean, you can pulverize it with a 2x4. So what we're going to do is plant them in the other sides here, and we're going to try to make it as fair as possible. So I took the soil from the same place, and I don't want to change it too much. All right, so let's grab a little bit more of this stuff. You can see the immediate difference in the two soils, but obviously you know why. And what we're going to do is plant a couple of the same vegetables, put them to the tide. We're only going to water this with the compost tea I've been making, and uh, see which one takes off better. So what we have here today, we have good old garden bean, and we're also going to try a little cucumber. So. Let's, uh, let's open this guy. And if this works out, I'm going to do this all over the yard and hopefully get some some good grass out of it, too. Couple, 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 and couple. Let's make it fair. What do we have? Five here. Let's go. Dink. One, two, three. Done. One, two, three, done. One, two, put that fat one in there. Three, take these two out. One, two, get that one. And three. All right, so we got three of those in the back, three in the front. Anyway, I'm going to do the same thing with the uh, cucumbers. Here's some compost tea that I made. So. I'm not going to show you the planting of the cucumbers. I'm just going to do whatever. One, yeah. Okay. It looks pretty well watered, those guys. So I'm going to do the same thing with the front, except for with these. And um, I will update and let you guys know how we're working out. All right. Thanks for watching.